Good evening and welcome to another edition of Recommendations from the Couch. It's officially happened. The new year has come. We've put the Christmas stuff away, or at least we've started to. And now the first seed catalog came. And once that first seed catalog comes, I am done with winter and ready for spring. And fortunately, we've got a bunch of new gardening books in. So even though spring is really a long ways off, it never hurts to plan ahead and the pictures are beautiful. The first two we've got in tonight um, have been on the shelf for about a month. This one though just went out this week. It's called Beginning Gardening Step by Step, a visual guide to yard and garden basics. It's um, published by DK. This is probably my favorite beginner one, simply because whatever the question is, like how to make a border, all on two pages. Laying sod, all on two pages. Planning a hedge, all on two pages. Easy step-by-step -step instructions, great pictures. Um, so for a beginning gardener person, highly recommend. Now the next one is the New Gardener's Handbook, Grow a Beautiful and Bountiful Garden, Everything You Need to Know by Daryl Byers. This is a little more advanced beginner's book, as you could say. Um, uses a lot more technical terms. Again, beautiful pictures, great ideas, easy step-by-step -step instructions. So the New Gardener's Handbook. Now for any of you that are Joanna Gaines fans, you know that when her new cooking show, she has a kitchen garden. And this one called Kitchen Garden Revival, a modern guide to creating a stylish, small scale, low maintenance edible garden um, by Nicole Burke is excellent. It walks you through literally what a kitchen garden is for and what a kitchen garden should have and how to make and build a kitchen garden and what to grow in it to make it worthwhile. This one is another beautiful book. Um, great design ideas. This one's a little different. It's called Growing Undercover, Techniques for a More Productive, Weather-Resistant, Pest-Free Vegetable Garden by Nikki Jabor. This one really talks a lot about using a, um, a cover to start your stuff early, how to use a greenhouse, how to use small things for greenhouses like milk jugs all the way up to the great big ones. This one is um, really a year round, how you can garden year round with what you want to do. And it's got some, again, great pictures, good ideas, and easy step-by-step -step instructions that look um, mostly like anyone could follow. This one is called the Small Garden Style, a design guide for outdoor rooms and containers. Um, this one is by Isa Eaton and Jennifer Kramer. This one is just a beautiful design book. In the beginning, you take a quiz and it kind of determines what your design feel is. And then it talks about how to pick plants and how to do design. This is growing plants on walls and growing plants into topiaries and doing plants in containers and, you know, geometrical yards. This one is a really, really beautiful book. Um, the recommendations on the back even say that Nate Burkus said he learned something from it. So small garden style, a nice one. And the last one, this one always fascinates me. It's called Plant Partners, Science-Based Companion Planting Strategies for the Vegetable Garden. This one will minimize disease, reduce pests, improve soil fertility, and support pollination by Jennifer Walliser. Um, I find it really interesting that the things that you can plant together that are happy together and things that are not happy to grow together. And this one goes in a different direction as well. It talks about plants that grow well together to help each other be better. And then it talks about planting plants together when you're willing to sacrifice one. So, you know, vegetables you can plant together when you know that one is going to be completely eaten by the bugs so that it avoids the other one. Um, this has some great reading. It just, it's, it's just great science all together on how you can avoid bugs, how you can draw the right bugs, and, and how to make that work for your vegetable garden. This one, again, is brand new, not on the shelf yet. should be out by next week. So stop by and see us. We have a great gardening section of books, and it's that time of year if we can't be outside yet, come check out a book. We can all pretend like we can smell the dirt. Start to make your plans now so that when that weather warms up, we are ready to roll. Hope you guys have a great week. The library is open regular hours. Stop by and see us anytime, and we'll talk gardening with you even though we can't garden yet. Until next week.